Hi, I'm Millie. Welcome or welcome back to Live It Up with Mills. If you are new here, you may consider subscribing to my channel. I do videos on beauty, fashion and lifestyle. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And please do remember to turn on the notification bell icon to be notified about all my future updates. Now, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So today I wanted to talk about petite styling. Now, I am petite. I am barely 5 feet. If you are 5 feet 4 inches or below, by fashion definitions, you have a petite frame. Now, dressing up petite woman is a challenge in our country. We still do not have brands which have specific petite section. Even international brands who otherwise uh, have predefined petite sections do not have it uh, in our country. But today we are not going to talk about outfits. We are going to talk about shoe styles or footwear styles which look good on petite women. So this I am going to do it in a two part video. Today I will be talking about footwear which is suitable for petite women. And the next video will be on outfits which suit petite women. So let's jump into the shoe styles or the uh, footwear styles which suit petite women. The first and most commonly used type and which really really suits petite women is the pointy toed pump. And uh, it is even better if you choose these with uh, pencil heels. These pointy toed pumps give an illusion of longer legs thereby making you look taller. Of course the heels create actual length and actual height. The best thing to do would be to choose a neutral or a nude shape pointy toed uh, pump because that would uh, add to the effect of longer legs. Another thing to bear in mind while choosing these pumps is not to choose one which has got ankle straps. Now I know it is uh, very comfortable to wear these heeled pumps with ankle straps but for petite women they tend to break the leg at the ankle and thereby shorten the leg and uh, cut off that visual flow of length which the pointy toed pumps create. The next type of shoes is wedges. Of course they are extremely comfortable and every petite woman loves wearing it. It is universal but even while choosing wedges there are some important things to keep in mind. Now if you choose wedges which are extremely heavy or which look bulky then they will end up shortening your legs and kind of drawing the attention to the bulky part of the shoes which you don't want. You don't want people looking at the fact that you are wearing 4 inches or 5 inches on your heels. You want people to think that you are naturally that height. So the trick here is to choose those espradils in those uh, neutral shades and when the top of that shoe on the top of that uh, wedges it shouldn't be uh, you know those flat squarish lines no it should be more like the thong design i'll put it up somewhere here for you to see now these thong designs with these uh, wedges look extremely nice and elongating again that v in the thong creates the delusion of longer legs the third kind of shoes which look good on petite women is sneakers yes sneakers do look good on us but uh, of course it helps if you wear sneakers with those uh, a little bit of heels and also a very important thing to bear in mind while selecting those sneakers is not to select very bright colors so your best bet is to choose a pair of sneakers which are uh, you know in a neutral shade or preferably white. I think white sneakers look great with a little uh, you know uh, detailing on the soles. You could have espradil details, you could have it as plain white, however you like it. The other important aspect to bear in mind while choosing your sneakers is that your sneakers should not have ankle uh, length or they should not have a tie up on the ankle or uh, you know anything which is high up so basically your sneakers should be such that they're kind of low and some portion of your feet are visible even after you're tied the laces 
The more ankle and feet that is visible even after you put on your sneakers, the longer or taller your legs look and that gives an illusion of length. Next variety of shoes are open toed sandals uh, which uh, can be with or without heels and which are these strappy sandals. They look great during summers and, uh, and they are comfortable too. Now when you select these open toed sandals, things to bear in mind, while you'll see that there are uh, these square toed sandals which are very in nowadays, anything which is square kind of cuts off again the length of your leg and makes your legs look shorter. So continue to choose styles which are round or pointed even if they are open toed. And when you're selecting those trappy heels which are very in fashion now, they have those like uh, Romans, uh, you know, tie ups which go up to your knees. Do not select those, please. I know they look lovely and tall women carry them off very well, but uh, we cannot afford to wear those. So if you still are kind of sold out on those shoes and if you want to wear those uh, tied up shoes then I would uh, suggest that you wear those wear with a tie up around the ankle and not anything beyond that. Okay now the next one is flats. As short woman does it mean that we cannot wear flats? No it's not that. We can and I often choose to wear it mostly because it's more comfortable. Now when you're choosing your flats again remember to choose something which is slightly pointier and not completely blunt or round in the uh, front. So if it's blunt and rounded in the front, it again kind of shortens the length of your feet and thereby shortens the length of your entire leg. So uh, these were the top five kind of footwear for uh, petite women. If you like my video, please do click on the uh, like, share and subscribe button. And also, uh, please do watch the follow-up video on this, which is on outfits for petite women. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.